Good morning to everybody and welcome to the first meeting of the 2016 Environment, Climate Change and Land Reform Committee. I'm Claudia Beamish, MSP for South Scotland, and as the oldest member of the committee, or as I prefer to call it, the most senior member of the committee, I have the pleasure of convening this meeting for the first three items of business. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome all members to their new roles. This new committee has an incredible responsibility and a precious opportunity in relation to climate change to scrutinize and support the step change needed at all levels of society if we are to protect our planet and communities and develop a new quality of life for everyone here in Scotland and across the world for today and for tomorrow. Our responsibilities also as custodians of Scotland's magnificent environment range across land, sea, and air. Helping guide sustain sustainable development is a complex challenge I'm sure we will all rise to. And our new Land Reform Act will bring much significant secondary legislation to our committee, enabling rural and urban Scotland greater opportunities to better control their own destiny. I very much look forward to working with everyone in a productive and an effective manner. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present, please, to switch off mobile phones, etc., as they may affect the broadcasting system. However, you may notice some committee members consulting tablets, which I hope they will do, as this is the Climate Change and Environment Committee, rather than using paper. It's a shift for myself, but there we go. Um, and uh, they may be using them during the meeting. This is because we provide meeting papers electronically. And also, it's important to note that we have received apologies from Alexander Burnett, MSP. So the first item on the committee's agenda this morning is to consider whether to take item five in private. And this is the development of the work program. So could I seek agreement from members uh, that we take this item in private? Right, thank you. So the committee has agreed to that. If we can have that noted, please. And the second item is to allow committee members to declare any interest that they have which are relevant to the work of the committee. And background information has been provided in a note from the clerk. So I'll start with myself, and I'd like to declare that I'm a member of the campaign for Borders Rail. And I'll then ask uh, Morris Golden if you would please declare any relevant interest that you have. Hi, I obviously refer members to the uh, register of interests of which um, I have um, Zero Waste Scotland uh, listed on that up until the point when I ceased working for them on May the 20th. Also refer members to a project I conducted for the Chartered Institute of Waste Management looking at the application of the circular economy in other European nations. Uh, the bulk of the work which was conducted prior to being elected, um, but uh, must be registered as the article of publication and associated presentation will take place uh, during the course of the summer. Uh, also refer members to my membership of the Chartered Institute of Waste Management as well as refer members to the fact that I am a waste smart trainer for the United Kingdom and I'm happy to offer any members uh, any training as required on that. Um, uh, that's me. Thanks. Right. Well, thank you, Morris, particularly for that last offer of help. <laughs> right. And I'll move to Graham Day, please. Uh, thank you. I'm Graham Day, MSP. Um, I'm not aware of any uh, declarable um, interests that I require to make. Thank you. And to Mark Ruskell. Thank you. Um, I'd like to declare that I am a councillor for Dunblane Bridge of Allen Ward in Stirling Council. I'm also on the board of the Strathallan Community Rail Partnership. Thank you. And to Kate. I have no interest that I'm aware of having to declare. Thank you very much. And to Emma Harper. It's related to Gail's question. I am a member of Dogs Trust. So. Thank you. And to Angus MacDonald next. I'm convener. I own a property in the Corn and Yellen Sea local authority area on an island which is subject to a current community buyout attempt, uh, which may be of relevance to, to this committee during this session of Parliament. Otherwise, I have nothing to declare. Thank you. And to Finlay Carson. Thank you, convener. Um, I declare I'm a councillor on Dumfries and Galloway Council. Um, I'm currently a, a member of the NFU Scotland. Um, 
and in the interest of transparency, I'm a partner that owns uh, 20 acres in South West Scotland, but I've been uh, advised it's not a registrable interest. Right, thank you. And now to Gail Ross. Thank you, convener. Um, I am a councillor for the Wick Ward in Highland Council. I'm a member of the Scottish Rural Parliament. I am a member of the Board of Management for North Highland College. I am a member of Dogs Trust. I am a member of the Cats Protection. I am a member of the SSPCA. And I am also vice convener of Friends of the Far North Line. Thank you. Thank you. And to David Stewart. Uh, thank you, convener. I've got no relevant interests. Right. Uh, thank you to all members. And as you see, we have a particular wealth of experience uh, we won't be uh, wanting for people to go to when it comes to animal welfare as well, which is reassuring. Uh, right. And now, very importantly, I'd like to move to agenda item three, which is our choice of convener. And this is the committee's next task. And the procedure has been explained in paper two. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish National Party are eligible for nomination as convener of this committee. Can I invite a member of that party to nominate one of their number for this post? I understand that Graham Day is the party's nominee for this post. I'd like to nominate Graham Day. Right, uh, thank you very much. That's nomination by Kate Forbes uh, for Graham Day. And um, as the rules declare, there's no seconder is required. So I'm going to ask, um, do we all agree to choose Graham Day as our convener? Yes. yes. Agreed. That's agreed. So Graham is our convener, and I know he will bring so much wisdom and experience. And as long as we promise not to fight about who's asking questions about behaviour change, Mr. Convener, we will be um, in very safe hands. So I will now vacate the chair. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Claudia and the committee. Um, the committee's next task is to choose a deputy convener. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party are eligible for nomination as deputy convener of the committee. Can I invite a member of that party to nominate one of their number for the post? I uh, understand that the nomination will be Morris Golden, but can we deal with that formally, please? Hey, Morris Golden. It's nominated by Finlay Carson. Um, as that completes the process, I'm delighted to say that... Uh, so, so, sorry, can I just uh, clarify? Do we all agree that Morris Golden will be... I was jumping the gun there, thank you. So congratulations to Morris Golden. Um, um, the next meeting of the committee will have to be decided by the committee in the course of the next week. Well, so I now close the public part of the meeting and the committee will move into private session as agreed earlier in the meeting to discuss its future work programme. I now close the meeting.